Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm playing Stormworks and reviewing the SS Gillette. So let's get started. Right, so here we are on the bridge. So let's get these engines started up. Engine start. Engine 1. Engine 2. Right, so we're now moving at quite a good speed. So this vessel is quite fast. As I designed it to be one of the fastest ships of its time period. Right, so I think now we're going to do a tour of the ship. So, this is obviously the bridge. Nice bridge wings. You can see down to the bow. And down, down there, see all the lifeboats, the two of our funnels. Through here, we have the wireless room. And a bed for a crew to stay in. Right, so now going down these stairs, you can see the ship has four lifeboats, um, eight all together, so four on both sides. Um, we have a cargo hatch here, um, tennis court, cargo cranes. So walking all the way around the deck here, you can see it's identical to the other side. And if I can squeeze through here, you've then got a nice view right off the front of the ship. This would just be an incredible view if you're really on this ship. Just looking forward like that. Amazing. So we can squeeze back through here again. And back up this way. And we open the door here into this nice peaceful cafe. Overlooking the lifeboats, the sea, the tennis court. So very, very nice. Then along here, we have doors into the lounge. It's got a very, really nice sky dome. We have the two funnels there. Which you can look at, the nice clear skies. Nice seats here. We've got a really nice heater. So actually, before I forget, we should probably close this door. Because we don't want any water coming in. But we, of course we'd never be in this situation in the first place. So out these windows you can see some more lifeboats. The nice sea. More tables. And then out here you can also get a really nice view of the sea. So we've got another skylight overlooking the funnel. And down these stairs, we've then got a very nice area. So here we have another small sort of bar lounge area. And if we go through here, we can then enter out into the bow. So really, really nice view. Rigging, mast, just standing on the front here. Right, so we'll continue on from that. So you definitely want to be quite careful here because there is no hand railings. You definitely do not want to fall off that. So going back through here, nice curtains. And if we open this door here, we have the promenade. So you can look out here, more amazing views of the ocean. Windows into the dining room. So you can walk all the way down here, all the way. Another cargo hatch, another promenade on that side. You can walk all the way around here. So unfortunately this small area here is not decorated. Up here, we've got more sort of cargo hatches. And we've got the docking bridge. So you can look over here, really good views, looking right over the stern. And look how far away we are now. That was the oil rig from before. We should probably look out for where we're going. So, here we have the library. Nice bookcases. Nice views, as always. And then in through here, we have a sort of more dining lounge space. And then going down here into the proper dining room, we've got really nice sea views. Really close to the waterline. Nice chandeliers. Really nice wooden panelling everywhere. Down here we've got corridors where we have cabins. So unfortunately none of these cabins are decorated or accessible at the moment. But maybe in the future I could add that if you really want to. And then through this way here, we have the amazing swimming pool. Now at the moment, unfortunately, the swimming pool's looking quite dry. Go down these stairs here, we can see the really dry pool, unfortunately. No water in it. More dressing rooms through here. A 
yet again more amazing views because it looks as though this water is splashing right up against those portals. That is quite scary. So in through here, we have more cabins, doors, yet again as always, none of these are accessible or furnished. And we can now go back up these stairs here and check out the rest of this. So we have a door here which takes us out into the promenade. And we can take a nice stroll along here. And oh no. Is that what I think it is? We're gonna hit a bridge. I, I, I better head back up because we're gonna hit that bridge. Oh yeah, we are going straight for it. Okay, we got to go to the bridge. This is an emergency. This is an emergency. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. You can see here that the rudder is turning. The propellers are going at full speed. And it looks as though... Yeah, we're going to clear that. But what is that I see off in the distance there? Is that a volcano? I think that is. Oh, look at that sunset. That's so nice. Oh, but I, I need to shut up these engines. It's so loud and annoying. Be quiet. There we are. No more noisy engines. So we better resume turning here. Okay, we're going hard to starboard here. We definitely did not want to hit this bridge or any of the islands ahead of us. But it appears as though we're probably going to have to do a complete U-turn because that's the main island there. And it seems as though the, the railroad runs all the way around there. So we're going to have to do a full U-turn. So I think if we disable these engines, then that should definitely give us a really good advantage of steering here. Yes, so we are steering very hard to st um, starboard now. Oh yes, look at that. We're going to get this U-turn done in no time. Look at that shot. That's incredible with the sun rays reflecting off the water like that. And the ship just sitting there. Incredible. So we definitely are going to clear this. Definitely not going to hit that island there. Ah. Oh no. Right, we've probably got to turn really hard over. Because we are getting scarily close to that island in front of us. So we'll definitely try and clear that. And yep, we definitely will. So hopefully that will be the last of the incidents that happen on this voyage. Hopefully we don't sink or catch on fire or anything like that. Because I'm sure that wouldn't happen because I made this ship and I make these ships at the highest of standards. So I would obviously never expect anything like that to happen. So it appears we are now sailing into the night. And we should keep resuming our voyage from here. What was that? Did one of our engines just explode? Oh no! Our engines are on fire! Oh no! Okay, this is a, that's a big problem. That is a big problem. Okay, we should probably slow down the engines. Right, I'm gonna go and inspect the damage, because this can only mean one thing. The ship's going to end up going up in flames. Right, I definitely need to get down there and slow that fire. Or somehow, because there definitely was a fire down there. Come on, chairs, move it away. So it appears as though they... Oh, no. Look, there's flames. Oh, no. Look all that smoke. This isn't good. This is... This is not good. This is like top tier of things I would not want to happen. Okay, right, there's only one thing for it. We need to prepare the lifeboats. So here I am back up in deck and we're going to start deploying these lifeboats. So 
So swing the davits out like this. Okay, that's good. And winch down. So let's lower this. Okay, so we stop the winch down. And we connect our toggle off. And there it goes, our first boat leaving the ship. Oh no! Look at all that fire! Oh no no no. Right, I'm gonna have to jump over here. Uh, I need to look down there and check on that. Look at that! Can I maybe get on the... No, it's too risky. Right, I'll need to go, I'll need to go back over to the bridge wing and see if I can look over and see that. Right, come on, we gotta go quick. Because this situation is getting worse and worse by the minute. Because probably any moment now we're going to start sinking because of that fire. Right, look over here. Oh, look at that! That fire is just raging on the side of the hull. Probably by now the full pool's consumed by fire. Right, I'm going to release all these boats on deck here. Just so if the ship does go down quickly we have a way of escaping because all these boats will float up to the surface. And I'm just going to leave one in the davits just as a precaution. So we're going to disconnect all of these. Just so I have a way of escaping if she does go down quickly. One last one. There we go. Okay. So we should be safe now if the ship is to sink really quickly. Let's check on that. Oh. Yeah, it's going down fast. And all the boats are just laying on the deck, free. And that fire's just getting worse and worse. Right, I think it's probably time we go down to the pool and check on it. Oh! Yep, just as I was expecting. The full bottom level of the pools and the changing rooms are just engulfed in flames. And some of these corridors. Not really at the moment, but they will be soon. Right, I definitely need to get out here and look! These portholes are completely under! I need to get out here because this is going to get really out of control fast. And I need to focus on surviving since this ship is going down. By now, the, the bow is almost completely... Oh, there we go! Water's now lapping over there. Oh, did I leave that door open? Oh no, right, I'm going to need to go down there. I'm going to need to go down there. Because if that door's left open, the effects could be disastrous. Disastrous. I can't speak today. Wow. Oh, that's so much water flooding in. Come on, close it, close it, close it, close it. Okay, but that is terrifying. Right, I think I should probably... Oh, no! That's all flooding. Oh, no. Right, I need to slow the ship. I need to slow the ship because we are effectively driving ourselves into the water. Right, stop the engines. Stop them. Okay, stop the engine. Stop it. Okay, let's check on it now. Oh, the full bow's under. The promenade deck's going under. And all those areas are flooding so fast! Let me check down here. How's the water levels doing down here? Yeah, that is completely full. All of that. It's just completely underwater. And the fire's definitely beginning to spread now. It's on the top deck! Oh no! Right, I need to go check that out. Because that water... I mean, that fire... Is now on the top deck. And it's probably right at this moment... Um, setting the library on fire. Hey, look at this! I've never seen a fire this big. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, the fire's in there. Oh no! Look at the amount of water rushing in! Go, go, go. No, there's no there's no time to walk through this nicely. I need to run. There's water at the end of that corridor, isn't there? Oh, no. Right, I need to get to a lifeboat now. That's completely submerged. That's so scary. Everything's flooded. Oh, no. The top deck's even flooding now. And, oh, no. Even the bridge is about to get consumed. I need to do one last check. Oh, my. Yeah, the ship is completely under now. The ship's going so fast. Going so fast.
Yeah, she's going. There's only one thing for her. I oh no! There's only one thing for her. I need to get to a boat. I need to get to a boat. Oh no! Oh no! She's going things so quickly! Come on! Come on! Come on! I need to get up the stick! And that fire is still raging up there. Okay, right, so... Swing the davits out. Swing them out. Come on, quickly! Oh no, there's no time for it. I need to get in this loose boat. Oh no! Quickly! What a sight! As the fiery stern of the SS Gillette goes under. And there I am. On this small boat. Oh no, I'm getting flung off. No. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness. Oh no, get on a boat. That is deadly. Oh no, I don't want to get trapped under it. No. No. Come on, jump on one of these capsized boats. Ah. No. Okay, there we are. The SS Gillette was seen no more. Right guys, so make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and please consider subscribing. Because it's completely free and you can undo it any time if you change your mind. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!